Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 25th of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather turning colder tomorrow with a cold front coming through that will probably bring some rain at times, but nothing too heavy. Let's check it out. There's the upper look this afternoon, troughing west of the state. And that trough will be passing over us tomorrow. There's the visible satellite view today. High cirrus clouds in place. Actually, mid to high level clouds, about 15 to 25,000 feet off the ground, but still some filtered sunshine today. Temperatures are mostly in the low 60s. We've got 61 for Anniston, Birmingham, and Tuscaloosa. Tomorrow will be about 10 degrees colder with highs dropping back in the low 50s. And around the nation, colder air diving down into the Rockies. And again, we'll catch some of that tomorrow and on through the rest of the week. There's the watch warning map. Again, those patches of light green here across the deep south. Those are river flood warnings still in effect. Up north, we've got a number of winter weather advisories and winter storm watches in the colder air. And this is the latest snow forecast coming from the Weather Service for the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. Uh, Milwaukee really with a big change. You know, a couple of days ago looked like they might get 10 inches of snow. Now nothing more than a trace for them. Uh, Chicago about three inches. Some of the bigger numbers over there toward Detroit where they could see amounts in excess of six inches of snow. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe storms expected. Maybe some thunder for the South Atlantic coast and parts of Florida. Tomorrow got a couple of marginal risks. One for Central Florida around the Interstate 4 corridor and one over parts of Virginia and some of the adjacent states. And on day three, which is Thursday, no thunderstorms are expected across the country in a cool, stable air mass. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. And again, for Alabama, these are the lowest levels we've seen all year in terms of a seven-day rain forecast. Uh, the northern half of the state, rain amounts under a quarter of an inch and basically nothing for much of South Alabama between now and Tuesday morning of next week. And we'll sure take that. We need that chance to dry out. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 3. That troughing rotating through here. A cold front passing through. The sky will be cloudy and we'll have some rain at times. That's the high-res NAM showing a batch of rain coming through at midday. That's noon tomorrow. And then as the colder air rushes in here tomorrow night, there might be a few scattered light snow flurries. This is midnight tomorrow night, but again, limited moisture, no impact whatsoever if it happens. Thursday, the weather cold and dry. We start the day in the upper 20s, the high between 47 and 50, despite sunshine and full force. Now, this is Friday, and for most of the state, the day will be dry, but a little wave coming down the backside of the trough might clip the northeastern counties of the state uh, with a chance of some light rain. Friday afternoon, maybe a few patches of light snow Friday night. Again, that's the northeastern corner of the state, counties like Jackson and DeKalb. Uh, and if there are snowflakes up there, we don't expect any impact. The high Friday in the mid to upper 50s. And Saturday as the weekend begins, the weather looking dry. We start the day around freezing, the high in the upper 50s, and Sunday. Should be a pretty nice day. Now, Sunday morning will be in the upper 30s, but we warm up nicely. A chance we'll see mid-60s on Sunday afternoon. The sky bright and sunny. Let's go to Monday of next week. Moisture starts to increase. We'll bring in the chance of a few showers. Probably nothing too heavy or widespread. We'll be in the 60s. And a week from today, this is Tuesday, the 3rd of March. Uh, troughing to the west, ridging in the southeastern states. And that's going to be pretty mild. We could see highs in excess of 70 on Tuesday of next week. And again, we could see a few showers about, but the most widespread rain probably a bit north of here, north of a warm front. And then the following day, this is Wednesday, March 4th. That looks pretty wet with a surface low passing right on top of us. Remains to be seen if this is going to be a really heavy rain or severe weather look. Uh, this is more than a week out and it's a little too early to be specific on that, but that could be a significant rain event. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 6th of March. Much of the country with ridging. And if that verifies, that is a dry air mass. 
Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next 15 days. The mean about 2 inches, and we can certainly handle that. Temperatures fairly cool for the rest of this week. Uh, you can see 49 on Thursday, 50s on Friday and Saturday. But next week, how about low 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday? And this is the brand new CPC outlook, the 8 to 14 day outlook. This is for March 4th through March 10th. And again, showing above average temperatures for much of the eastern half of the United States. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.